Hi everybody, it's Lisa G here. Let's talk wine. Okay, so it's been a few days since my last um, video. And um, I got a chance to go out and check out my neighborhood and I found this fantastic little wine shop, which is awesome. Uh, it was my first time out in 19 weeks, oh my God. And, uh, but I found this great little place. So keep watching. I'm going to have some great new wines in the next few sessions. You're going to love it. Anyway, today's wine is Band of Roses 2018. Okay, so this is a Charles Smith wine and that's from Washington State. And I've been a fan of Charles Smith wines for quite a number of years. The first one I ever had was a red blend called House Wine. It was just called House Wine. It had this really cool label with the little black and white house drawn on it. Really cool. And I love those little labels that he does. They're all in black and white and they're so cute. Um, so Bands of Roses is a 100% sustainably sourced Pinot Gris. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Pinot Gris is white, Lisa. Yes, it is usually a white wine, but uh, you can use the entire uh, fruit and some of the fruits have a little bit of pink tinge to the skin or even a coppery pink tinge or red tinge to the skin. So they use the full fruit to make the rosé and it gives it the pink color. Now, normally when you make a rosé, it's a red grape and they take the skins off and that's why it doesn't come out red. In this case, they leave them on to get the color. So, hence the color. Anyway, I'm excited. I've never tried this wine before. So, it's a first. You're going to try it with me. So, as you can see, it's got like a, you know, coppery pink color. Um, almost a little golden too. So I guess that's also from the grape. Mm -hmm. mm. So the finish is brilliant, really smooth, lovely. I'm getting a lot of like tropical fruits. So like guava, mm like passion fruit, little tartness, really nice. Great on a hot day, like today, like every day for the last God knows how long. Mm. Mm. A little minerality in it. It's really nice, the finish is beautiful. So there's 12.5% alcohol in this one. So not too bad and uh, it's really nice. The nose is beautiful. Ultra floral. It's really nice. I mean, that might not sound great to other people. It's not perfumey, okay? It's floral. I could definitely smell like a, like a little bit of roses, like almost like a rose water smell. Ooh. And you get a little floralness in the taste as well, but that of course comes in connection with the nose. Um, but you're definitely getting a beautiful, smooth, lush feel in the mouth. And it's definitely got beautiful, juicy fruit. Not sweet, dry, but still juicy fruit. So like I've said before, just because it's fruity does not mean it's sweet. I know I have folks out there who probably like sweet. I am not a lover of sweet. I'm sorry. I can sometimes do an off dry, but that's as far as I'm going to go. Um, so this is a great wine. It usually retails between 10 and $12. Ultra reasonable. And from Washington State, and I can honestly say I'm a bigger fan of Washington and Oregon State wines than I am California. I am not a lover of California wines. You will very rarely find a California wine that I like. Sorry, California. It's just me. Uh, again, I am not a professional sommelier. I am not educated. This is basically just my opinion. Not a lover of California wines. I think they're overpriced 
and not worth what they're asking. Sorry, again, California. Anyway, um, back to this one. The Band of Roses, 2018, Charles Smith Wines. Love it. Big fan. Definitely will buy again. Again, I'm not going to tell you what to eat. You can eat whatever you like with whatever you like. But my personal recommendation to eat with this would be tacos or like, say, a braised pork. Awesome. Um, this is fantastic on its own as well. Poolside on the beach. Awesome. Again, what isn't fabulous without sun and water? Everything is better with sun and water. <laughs> it's like, I saw, I personally, I like the beach, but I hate the sand when it sticks to me. But I like the view. So, <laughs> and, uh, but yes, I would definitely recommend like, say, you know, some fresh tacos or a braised pork loin or, or like, Definitely, this would go fantastic with pork. Unbelievable. Barbecue. Oh, yes. Definitely. So, definitely, I recommend highly Band of Roses by Charles Smith Wines. This is 2018. It's absolutely yummy. Mm-hmm. And well worth the price of admission. <laughs> uh, I, I'm like... Really beautiful, fresh, doesn't have a big long finish, but that's fine. It has a pleasant finish. Um, it is a stainless steel fermented wine. Uh, I, I do tend to like those better. I'm, I used to be very big fan of very big woody reds, but as I've gotten older and my tastes change and I live in a very hot climate, I have kind of changed my ways so i could i definitely recommend this i think you should try it it's a great bargain and look for it in you know your local store it's it's very easily accessible i did get this from um a local grocery store so it is accessible if you cannot find it in your area or like me you're not big on going out shopping right now you can order this online and you can usually get it between $10 and $12. And it, it'll totally be worth it. I, I swear. You'll love it. It's really fun. Uh, now on another note, like I like to add in some different stuff other than wine on my, on my broadcasts. So um, today I just finished watching a new show on HBO. So if you have HBO, watch it. If you don't have HBO, you might want to get it just to watch this because it's amazing. So, first season on HBO, it's a new show called Legendary. Fan freaking tastic. Okay, for those that don't know me very well or haven't known me well, I'll just explain. Okay, I am very enamored with. <laughs> gay culture okay and I'm a very big proponent of supporting LGBTQ plus people and I've been like that for a very long time probably since birth I think <laughs> um, but legendary is about a uh, ballroom or the ballroom culture and I don't mean that stuff with the couples that dance around on PBS Ballroom culture started in New York City primarily for African American and a Latino American LGBTQ youth. And I caught the bug back in the 80s. The first time I saw it, I was in love. Um, if you haven't seen Paris is Burning, watch it. I'm also was a big fan of Pose when it first came out. Again, I have really been enamored with this since early young uh anybody of course who knows me uh from key west knows i love drag queens and i you know i'm just very heavily into this culture even though i am a cisgender female and i i am heterosexual i am a huge lover of the 
LGBTQ community. <laughs> but Legendary is a fantastic show that you that is all about a contest for ballroom. So it's voguing. You know when Madonna came out with Vogue? She did not invent that shit, people, okay? It was invented by this culture that originated in New York City. So please check it out. You will not, you will not believe the things these guys can do. They're so very talented and do check it out. Legendary on HBO. You will not be disappointed. Amazing. What? <laughs> okay. I'm going to sign out now. This is Lisa G. Let's talk wine.